me clearly, America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, probably about a week ago, I did a story on the Colorado farmers that are being racially harassed in El Paso. And, you know, no matter how much they complain, you know, they said the sheriff's department there was in cahoots with these races that were harassing them. So they were doing virtually nothing to stop it. Well, they got arrested, not the people harassing them and trying to run them off of their land and poisoning their animals and going in their houses and stuff. No, not, not them, but the people that are being harassed, they're the ones that got arrested. So Black Colorado farmers, Courtney and Nicole Mallory, were arrested after making complaints about harassment on he and his wife's farm, a case involving racial tension between the Black family and their predominantly white neighbors has escalated to multiple restraining orders and now felony arrest. Courtney and Nicole relocated to Colorado after a hurricane displaced them. Part of the mission of his farm, Freedom Acres Ranch, is the education of inner city youth and underserved communities about the food comes from, you know, they want to let the kids know where it comes from and how they can grow their own food and pursue careers in agriculture. On Monday, Courtney and Nicole Mallory were arrested on felony warrants and were each booked at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. The Mallory's were each expected to face two felony charges of stalking According to online court records, for the past two years, the Mallory's have complained about people targeting their farm through acts of vandalism and animal mutilation of their stock. And, and when I did the story, I had showed you, I think, three different pictures of animals that were poisoned, you know, they were killed. And, you know... I'm not shocked that this is happening and it's not a shock, especially knowing from the other story I did that these cops were siding against them. So it's not shocking that they have trumped up some charges to put on these people. You know, it's another form of intimidation hoping that if they do this, then perhaps they'll pack up and leave. They want that land. See, as soon as they leave, they're going to scoop right in there and take the land. But now you are getting a glimpse of how many Black farmers have lost their land over the centuries in this country. You're seeing exactly how it's been done. What these folks need is somebody to advocate for them. They really need something because at this point, I don't trust these folks. They can do anything. You know, you look at how they got the Constitution set up in this country. If you are arrested and go to jail, you lose all your rights. If you lose all your rights, then, you know, the only reason why they want you to lose your rights is so they can do any and everything to you. And you can't do anything back. See, that's really the only purpose in setting up the uh, Constitution that way. Put you back in bondage and make you completely helpless. So in a statement sent to Nine News in December, the Mallory's outlined allegations against an El Paso County deputy claiming he was instigating attacks, which I'm not shocked. I mean, how many times in this country have we heard that the Klan 
was in cahoots with the police, you know, and in circumstances where people were being targeted in the black community, they wouldn't do anything. They would just let whatever happened happen. And in fact, would participate in it too. And that's all we're seeing now in this case in El Paso. So unfortunately, there are still corrupt police. The entire United States Police Department, Sheriff's Department, FBI, CI, they're all corrupt. They're all racist. And they all run like it's still Jim Crow. All of them run that way. Boy, I hate seeing this happen to them. I really hate it. So they're saying they're corrupt and, and racist people out there who are trying to block minority farmers from using their agriculture land because of their race in Colorado Springs. The Maoris are the most recent victims of this blatant racism and vitriol, the statement from the Mallories say. The Maoris told Ark Republic, once or twice a week, strange white people drive slowly by their ranch, stop and take pictures or videos and sometimes brandish guns at them. The couple is frequently followed, especially while they are in town. As a result, they rarely travel and are mindful at what time? Clearly, they're unwanted. Even the post office workers were asking us, why were we here, says Courtney. Well, your post office worker has no business asking you that question. They should just deliver the mail and mind their business. And that just tells you they're part of it too. They're part of the problem too. No post office worker should be standing in front of you at your house asking you, why are you here? Please, I wish they would. So anyway, okay, so they were saying that a regular phase, a regular phrase told to Courtney is he has a lot of the balls to purchase the land that mostly in a mostly white community. He, okay, I think he has a lot of balls purchasing land in a mostly white community. What puts me on edge is that everyone knows us and how we look, but we don't know all of them, Courtney told the Ark Republic. This is just some of the report of terror the Houston transplant says his family has experienced since the purchase of 1,000 acres. Uh, so they got 1,000 acres of land. Wow. On their ranch in El Paso County, Colorado. And they've been there since August of 2020. Courtney Mallory uh, alleged that he and his wife had been the targets of local whites who wants them off the land. It's like I'm being tormented for doing God's work, says Mallory, who is exhausted because his family has not slept for months from keeping night watches. The sheriff's county released a statement. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office denies these allegations. Well, you know, they're on the side of the white citizen, so it, it's not shocking that they're going to deny everything. I mean, who who is, I mean, seriously, who think that is shocking? You know? So they said they tried to call the governor's office to demand you know, that they investigate. And of course, they're just blowing them off. You know, politicians, generally, a lot of them, when you call, they don't want to do nothing. In fact, they don't want to hear from you. They don't. The only time they want to see you is election time. 
when it comes to any other issue that you're having personally, they really don't want to talk to you at all. Or if you do call, they got some aid on the phone uh, talking to you. And chances are they may not even move that message along to the politician at all. You know, but that's the games they have been able to play and get away with in this country for a long time. Y'all, what they need is somebody to advocate for them. You know, I don't know if there are any groups in the area. You know, you know, this is what kills me. You got the um, NAACP, right? And they're always popping up every now and then to run their mouth, but I haven't seen, are, are there any of them popping up to help this couple? See, this is why people say those organizations are absolutely useless. And they are. They are completely useless. You know, where is the CBC? You should have a lot of people that are in a position of power saying something about this and you see the complete silence that's going on. If it wasn't for us doing videos online, you probably wouldn't hear about it at all. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. This just came out today, February 7th, 2023. So this is pretty recent, this arrest. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.